Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Louisa. I'm a fourth year medical student at the University of Cambridge. In this video, I'm gonna be talking a bit about how I budget for my meals. I did a meal prep video before where I just cooked one curry. This week I am bulk preparing loads of food because I'm about to start a new term. So I'm hoping that by doing this, I won't have to cook much during the actual term. Um, I've just been shopping and I've actually got the hob on right now I'm cooking. And I'm gonna show you how I do it and what the kind of cost of that is and how I budget things. So I'll just start by showing you what I've bought and then how I've split it up into different meals and how many meals I should get from that. I'm really sorry if you can hear the frying in the background, but yeah, I'm cooking onions at the moment. So anyway, ignoring the massive pile of Nutella, um, which is there because I basically I've been to Lidl and it's Veganuary, so I've stockpiled on Nutella. Behind that, I've got um, some different piles of food and they're basically different meals. So this one's gonna make a veggie chili. It's gonna be quite small, probably only make maybe like four portions from that. This is gonna be a sausage casserole, maybe six portions. Um, these are gonna make a massive cauliflower and lentil dal. Uh, this over here is gonna make a vegetable curry. Then over here, I've got some more stuff for a um, Thai green curry. I've got Thai green curry paste here. Oh, actually, no, I haven't. It's somewhere. I've got Thai green curry paste somewhere. And then over here, I'm gonna make a lentil ragu. Over here, I've got ingredients for a massive spaghetti bolognese. And then this stuff is all gonna be... Wait, what is this? I can't remember what this is gonna be. Actually, this might be veggie chili. It is gonna be veggie chili, yes. Okay, cool. So I, with the ingredients over there, so I'm actually gonna make a big one. But hopefully I'll get a lot of portions out of this stuff. So you can see I've split it up in different meals. And my aim is to get maybe like between six to eight portions out of each one. And the total of my receipt at Lidl was about 75 pounds. So, uh, but that I bought loads of other stuff as well. So what I'm gonna do is go and grab the receipt and then I'll do a proper breakdown of each meal and how much it all cost me. And then I'm gonna, once I've portioned it all out, work out how much I spent per portion. And it should hopefully be cheaper than the dining hall. That's the plan. I'm just briefly having an interjection or an interlude, I should say, um, because I wanna show you what I've made. So uh, I've got two chilies, they're the same. I've just split them into two hands because I can't fit it all in the big one. And then the big one has uh, like a bolognese sauce. And they're made with Lidl's vegan mints, which is part of the Veganuary range. So if I get this video out in January, then hopefully that means there's still time for you guys to run and grab some. It's really good. I'm really impressed it's so cheap because it's Lidl. So I've made, yeah, um, chili and uh, bolognese. And I'm gonna try and get six portions out of each of those. So next I'm gonna make probably the Thai green curry. Maybe, we'll see. Okay, so I've finished meal prepping. I'll show you, I'm actually so excited because look at all this food. Isn't that a lot of food? So I'm hoping it makes around 40-ish meals, maybe more, um, and hopefully they'll come in at under two pound per portion, which should be really good. So fingers crossed. I'm gonna try and freeze in foil, which means I have to freeze some of it first in boxes, then unpack it and then foil it up. So it might actually take me a while to batch freeze it, but once I have, I will check in and count how many things I've got. So it is a few, actually it's about two weeks maybe after when I, no, it's gotta be like 10 days since I actually meal prepped. Um, and I have now eaten quite a bit of the food, but I have got video footage, which I'm gonna insert of what the freezer now looks like. I think my flatmates are gonna be really annoyed at me because I have taken up a lot of the freezer, pretty much all of the top shelf and then half of the bottom shelf. And then that leaves half the bottom shelf and all the middle shelf, but the middle shelf is filled with my other friend, Emma's food. So between me and Emma, she's a vet med, so she's also already here and has meal prepped quite a lot. Between us, we've taken up a lot of freezer space, but it's worth it. The food's really good and it's seeing me through terms, so I don't mind, but the real deal is how much did it cost me? So I've got here my receipt from that shop from Lidl. Uh, I get a digital receipt on the Lidl app. Recommend the Lidl Plus app, by the way, if you ever shop at Lidl. Um, uh, but yeah, I've got the receipts on my laptop and I've done the calculations and I will show you now how much I spent in total and how much I spent on the food and then how much per meal. Okay, so for reference, this on the screen right now is the big receipt that has the entire shop on it. And I've blocked off in red all the stuff that was like items that I didn't include in the meal prep. So like, for example, there's this, which is like stir fry bowl and that wasn't meal prep. And then like here, what's that one? Spinach, oh yeah, gnocchi. Yeah, so like I haven't used that in meal prep. I think down here there's like, what's that one? Soy yogurt, yeah. So all of that stuff is just random other shopping that's not involved in meal prep. So having taken all of those red things off, well, firstly, actually the grand total of the whole receipt was 
£73.50 roughly. And then I took off all of the things in red and that's what's on here. That came to £43.97. So that's how much I actually spent on the ingredients for meal prep. And now I'll tell you how much I like made. Okay, so you'll see like on the screen now, what I've written is what I had in the freezer and fridge after meal prepping. I actually haven't updated it because I basically ate some stuff and was gonna keep track of what I'd eaten. Um, but what I had done here is basically write a note of what everything I'd made and put in the fridge and freezer so I knew what was where. But yeah, like I said, I haven't kept it up to date. So um, you can see there's a range of different meals. And that's the thing, people that ask me like, how do I meal prep and not get bored? It's because I make sure that I make a lot of different things. So I don't have to eat the same thing twice a week. And it is quite varied. But there are a couple of things left over from last term. So they were still in the, I put a couple of them in the, free, in the fridge and a couple were left in the freezer. So what this is showing is like how much I had in the fridge, how much I had in the freezer. And I had 41 things in the freezer, 13 things in the fridge by the end of the meal prep. So that includes the things from last term. So overall I had 54 portions, but I actually only made 47 because seven of them, I think like the top two um, were from the uh, like last term and also the two pizzas, I didn't count those. So I think all of these top ones were from last term. So what that means is I made, I actually made 47 portions. If you remember my grand total on the calculator was, uh, I can't really see it there, but it says 43 pound 97. So that's definitely gonna come in under pound a meal. Let's do the maths now. I've got my calculator up on the screen and it is saying that comes to, wow, 94p. It's 94p per meal. I think that's a massive win. And it's kind of comparative to what I used to pay in the dining hall in my first year, it was like one pound five p for a vegan main. It's now like one pound eighty, so it's basically double for me to eat in the dining hall now. What it does, what it costs me to make my own food. So it's a really, really, really cost-effective way to be a student is to meal prep and cook your own food. Plus, it saves me time. I don't have to queue for the dining hall. I don't have to like go to town to go queue and like eat in the dining hall. I do love the dining hall though, and don't get me wrong, I do still go occasionally. But I'm hoping that these meals will get me through term. So, and it's all home cooked food. Know what's in it, and it's healthy. Um, and I can control the portion size because I'm often quite hungry and I personally find the portions at all can be quite small. So that solves that problem. But anyway, yeah, I hope this is interesting. I hope it's useful and I hope it gives you a bit of more realistic insight into actually how can you like meal prep cheaply and eat really well as a uni student. And I will just say like, this doesn't include things like the carbohydrates, so like rice, pasta, um, couscous, potatoes, but like I do have those as well. But they, again, they're so cheap, they're so easy to cook and I just have to do those on the side and it takes like 10 minutes. Pop the other stuff in the microwave and we're ready to go and it's just the best. But yeah, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all hopefully next time. I don't know what I'm going to be filming this term and I'm, a, you know, sorry this one's taken me so long to get out. But um, it's busy as always. But thank you all for subscribing. I just hit 2k subscribers recently, which is absolutely insane. So thank you all very much and I'll let you go and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.